to cannot do the, the two things at the same time in a in a oh, night. Wait a minute, Doris, you have students in Germany. Are you yes, I get students in Germany. Yes, I'm teaching. Teach, I'm teaching. Yes. Okay. I, I, okay. I, I, I got blessed. I got blessed with the, this group of people. I'm sorry, but they they were laid out of work, so it's a big group, and I think I got a. Uh, um, I had been working with an institute that is in Germany, in Hamburg, and uh, I had you know two or three students, but now uh, I got. 10 students, <laughs> uh, and that's because of that. And we're having a good time. As a matter of fact, we're working on a project together, and we're going to go, we're going to exhibit it in Second Life. It is interesting Second because life. I got my uh, Argentine students and I got the German students, so uh, they are different levels, and some of them is, uh, are in, in business English, others are in general English, and and we're following a series of um, uh, audio podcasts by the Cambridge, a Cambridge site uh, that is called Virtually Anywhere. So we start to mm -hmm. listen to those, uh, those uh, episodes because he had exercises and, and it's a conversation and it's fun and it's, yet it's a story there. And it remind me of Second Life so much. So <laughs> I told them, you know, we can do this, something like this. We can, we can have something like, like what is in virtually anywhere. And so the story is about uh, two students, archaeology students and a professor that takes them to the different sites. So basically what they work in the, in the series is the Terracotta Army in China and the Teotihuacan city in Mexico. So now we are going to have a, a six and a half episodes. There are seven episodes, but the last one is when they get back home, of course. So they are traveling during the other episodes. And in number six, now they're going to have a six and a half and a six and a three quarter episode, two episodes more. One is going to be prepared by the Argentinian students and one from, with the German students. So they are creating, uh, they're in, uh, researching on, on sites in their own countries and so we're going to have uh, the final exhibition with uh, four uh, sites instead of two uh, so it's, it's fun we are we're really excited about it and we're looking for people from the different countries uh, well, the, the Argentinians are going to talk about Pucará de Tilcara that's that's in Jujuy precisely so um, the Germans they are deciding what site, but we're contacting, uh, what's her name again? A teacher in, in, in Mexico. So she's going to tell, she's, she's preparing a presentation. So to, to tell the students about Teotihuacan. I don't know anybody in China. That's why I haven't been able to find someone from China to tell them about the Terracotta Army. Um, because they're going to be the experts about Argentina. I have also an anthropologist, not anthropologist, he's a, he's a, um, oh, how do you say that? Uh, well, he's an expert on that. So this is a student of mine that works in the mines in, in, in Argentina. He's not in the group right now because he's not having classes, but I invited him to give uh, the Argentinian student a presentation about Tilcara de Pucara, I mean Pucara de Tilcara. So they get the information to then create their episode where they have a guy that talks about the, the site and all that, you know. So <laughs> I'm involving a lot of everybody that I can. I, I, get, I bring them into the, the experience. I want them to, you know, talk to people. That's very cool. <laughs> Graham, um, Posted the website, so I was just looking at it. it looks amazing. Virtually anywhere, yeah. Oh, it's virtually anywhere. I haven't seen it. Nice. I love the series. Uh, we are so, you know, we Gita and Paul. And it's free. Yes, it is free. So that's, that's why. Funny. And just um, we're getting the the this this uh, this is fun. <laughs> they love it. And also they get some exercises, you know, you go to each episode and there, are, there is a lesson plan 
and I'm posting this in Google class in uh, Google Classroom, yes, where they can find all the materials. And but they're creating these two new episodes. I don't know if uh, is that right, if if <laughs> if that right to do, um, but. We're not going to use the material from, the, they had to create a new one. I don't know if that, I don't know. You tell me about copyright if I'm doing something that is wrong. Do you, do you have a link that we can see in, in Google Classroom? Was it Google Classrooms, was it? Um, let me show you. You can just put it in the oh. text chat. Mm -hmm. I like the way Chris does his screenshots. <laughs> <laughs> it works. So, do you know anyone from China who can who can join us? <laughs> well, I know someone. I mean, we have some web heads there. Uh, if you know you're interested, we could maybe grab someone. But anyway, yeah, that would be nice. You send know. along the information. I'm thinking Yao Dong. Yes. We um, he goes way sometimes back. get together on Saturdays and that's when we have our free sessions with uh, different topics and that's where we're planning to have the uh, they they had to they, we have a uh, team terracotta and team Teotihuacan that was the beginning of the uh, of the project and then the Germans uh, uh, <laughs> showed up and I said okay let's invite them too and that's why we had now four uh, uh, sites to to work in and exhibit in in Second Life. So we're going to, when everything is ready, we're going to invite you to come and, and check it out. <laughs> More than merrier. Mm. Yeah, that, that's the idea, you know, so they understand. My students in Argentina are adults and, and they are, for example, I like got two doctors and and with the COVID thing, they um, now they had time. They would, they used to be face to face students, and now with the COVID, they are online. So for them, it's something that is really new. They don't know anything about. They didn't know anything about technology, you know. So I am. I have been pushing them into something like this. Oh, they complain and they say, "Oh, you're giving us too much homework. You know, this is too much." And then Elena, Elena Galani also came in, and and she's a, a fairy godmother on on. On Saturdays and and started to to and they felt like a, okay okay no 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 this is not what we want okay let's go slower <laughs> you know? so uh, but they are they're there you know and whatever new now that it comes because I, we have a, a WhatsApp group also and they follow me on on Facebook so whatever I post now they want to know and they say hey teacher and what happened with this you didn't say anything about this you know and it's like okay so who understand you guys you, you say that it's too much homework but then you want more so so it, it, it is uh it's been nice let me show you my um okay happy we have an anthropologist in berlin okay who is who is the anthropologist in berlin and he's in second life wonderful i would love to have him uh, help us with the site Right now I'm looking for a place because we will have to have, uh, I'm thinking of creating four platforms and because I only have a, a little piece of land. Um, so it's something like, uh, there's going to be something, uh, hey, hey, Kate, Hi, how are you doing, my dear? Nice to see your face. All yes. very good. I'm talking about a project that we're going to work in and, and try to, to take to Second Life. <laughs> yes, I, um, I, I, I need to... the mine. If you want to, we have a new gallery on Second Life. It's a, in the Sky Deck. It's a three-story round building that Randall um, ah, built. I visited. But yeah. where's, I'm and thinking instead of, of instead of okay. art, you can exhibit there. He can he can set up another floor for you if you like. Okay, I was thinking of having because uh, it goes with the story. You know, I will have to have the the room for. Uh, 420 that is in the story that's where the professor meet with the characters and they, they from then they travel to the different sites 
So uh, of having something like that, that they, they can come and, and get to the, to the room and experience the whole story that they had been uh, working with. Oh, I see. Okay. So that, that's why, you know, I, I already found a, a really nice uh, platform that is only two prints. And so I was think, planning on having uh, there uh, like four platforms and, and, and build in each of the platform the, the, the site. So it's like when avatars get there, they, they can go on and, and see what they had produced because we're thinking of recording their voices. I don't know if they're going to uh, try to get into Second Life. I don't want to push them that far, but mm -hmm what they are producing in different uh, venues and different with different uh, uh, tools uh, are going to, going to be there. You know, it's like, okay, then we can have, uh, if they cannot get into Second Life because it's too much for them, um, I can, these are new students. The German students are new students. The other ones I had had for one year, so they, they follow what, <laughs> what I do, you know, and they get in, uh, but, they are doing a lot of things and everything is new for them you know so um that's the, the experience i used to teach at a university where uh these were my students at the university and they had to do whatever i say because you know if they want to pass <laughs> the subject and graduate they will do things you know like okay you had to convince it but they they will at the end they will go but here these are private students and they are studying English because they want to. It's a free time. And, and as a matter of fact, they are elderly. I have an elderly one that sometimes he said, I don't know why am I studying English? You know, why did I, get, you know, why did, why? And then the next day he's, this is the one that complains that it's too much. But then the other day he says, oh, you didn't. And then I say, you know, Gustavo, that's another student and he's a, a, a doctor also. He's, he's reading James and the Giant uh, Peach. <laughs> I said, oh, I want to, I want to read that one too. I said, but this is too, uh, too, you know, it's the original and it's difficult. But no, 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 I want to. So he tries one episode and he works on it with patience. But then at the end he says, okay, no, this is too much. Let's go back to Huckleberry Finn. <laughs> you know, we're reading Huckleberry, and Huckleberry is uh, is on the American site, um, and it's a uh, one that is adapted to their level. So they feel happy because they are reading fluently, and they don't have any problems looking for new vocabulary. So as you can see, I'm mm -hmm. in, in the middle of a lot. And, and as you, they're not in Second Life as of yet, and you want to motivate them to build something there um well is that to, to build that will be too much because exactly. they, are, uh, they are doctors and they're working okay yeah though so some people are so they are not like they have a lot of time you want to, to provide for them in second life what what's the value um, of that uh well to see the exhibition to have their work published because it's going to be published on the internet and other people can come and see it you know uh -huh, okay uh, so that's their that's so you, how you they, basically look for an exhibition type of uh, platform, right? Um, yes, I mean, we're going to rebuild the, the exhibition. Uh, okay. And I'm also inviting Elena and Nancy, you know, they are... So it's like teachers, we're going to build it, okay, with the material that they produce. So whatever they're going to do in the other... Google Classroom, they're going to record their voices. They are creating a whole episode of the of the series. And, and so we're going to use Zoom also to get together and show and discuss. They're working on Google Documents to build the, uh, the story. And so, yes, we're mixing a lot of things and they're working. And then at the end, that will be like, Okay, now we go to, you know, you can work all this and then have a, and have a, a if they cannot come into Second Life that day, we can also uh, share it in Zoom, on Facebook, and we're connecting this and, and having more people look at that. And this is a nice, a nice fun thing that I like to do. But I think, I think, uh, I mean, if, if you want to, we can, uh, touch base privately between each other because I could perhaps show you something um, which is a little bit like an 
Um, yeah, you're it's, German. It's, you can be the, the, the boss of the <laughs> German team. Well, oh, okay. not enough around the plate for, <laughs> with groups of students at the moment. But uh, but yes, um, it, I mean, the one thing is, which is really nice, one of our residents in education, that's uh, the uh, Free University of Berlin, Judin Winkler. She's uh, running again a, a class in Second Life this year. Yeah, a complete class. And they're meeting on education. And the other day I attended an event by Tom Bertsdorf, who is a famous anthropologist who wrote the book, uh, Coming of Age in Second Life. Oh yes. And Tom is back in Second Life as well. He has a group of students uh, and a research project who are then uh, showcasing their research in Second Life on the 9th of June. Their research is in anything to do with digital culture. So they are researching how people use Tinder to, you know, uh, match up the, um, how they, you know, different digital uh, environments. It's not even necessarily Second Life, but they're doing the showcase of their project in Second Life on his island that he set up on a spare of a moment, he says, so Tom Burstoff, that's, that's his project in the States. And that should be interesting on the 9th of June to be there for the graduation ceremony of that research semester class. But as I said, the projects aren't necessarily research in Second Life. Um, in fact, nobody did research in Second Life. He said it was too short term. It's only short course. So they did in research in whatever they were familiar with already but they do present it in Second Life. And th these are the sort of interesting uh, analogies. But let's talk, talk about this perhaps privately. Don't want to nice. hij hijack I, this session I, here of Vance. Vance um... <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. Sorry, could, sorry. Could I? Sorry, I'm, I'm just could excited. I'm no, no, that's okay. I love to hear you talk and it's great. <laughs> Uh, there are a couple of things, though. I mean, first of all, we didn't say what day it is, which is May 24th, 2020. And mm -hmm. also, gosh, I never can remember what Learning Together event this is. It's 460-something uh, high 60s and talent event number 2021, 20, something like that. Anyway, um, that uh, and also, uh, it's possible, if you like, I've been playing around with it, I could just stream this over to you to, not to youtube we did that already as that's yesterday but uh i streamed it to facebook earlier just testing and it's very so easy to do if you want i could stream this onto facebook and you could see how the uh, how it goes if you like so up to you if you want me to do that i'm happy to do it um uh second thing uh chris uh fry is playing around with a closed caption software. And he, he says it's uh, producing good captions of what Doris was saying. So we could let Chris tell us a little bit about that. And the last thing, I'm wondering if Graham Stanley is still in Second Life. But anyway, so all those things. Over to whoever wants to talk. How about Chris? Let's let talk, <laughs> Chris introduce his, his project. Um, I, I saw somebody using Google Meet in a webinar a couple of weeks ago. And I, I was just blown over by the quality of the closed captions. Um, Google Meet, you turn on cold, uh, closed captions. If you speak a tiny bit more slowly, it gets everything. Very much the sort of speed you might be using if you're, you're teaching. Um, if you speak very fast, it, it, it can't keep up. But it's, it's done quite well. Um, with what I've been saying now, um, that's on my phone. Um, so I, I just wondered if, I wondered if other people had come across this closed caption in, in Google Meet. I haven't. I only used Google Meet once and i comparing it to Zoom for a meeting. I didn't like it as well, but thought it would be worth going back and trying. And that's what we used to do, isn't it, Vance? When we would meet on Sunday, if we heard of something new, we would all go there together from tapped in. Yes. Uh -huh. And there were two things that I kind of wanted to 
for. One was Google Meet and the other one uh, was Facebook meetings. Is that what they're called? Mm -hmm. Barad is having is holding a conference here on June 3rd in Google Meet. So you might be interested in, in seeing what that's about. And uh, the, the other thing I ask as long as I've got the floor is if you do you want me to stream this into Facebook Live while well, I've got it, I mean, it's up to you. I'm quite happy if anyone want to vote on that. I mean, it just kind of comes up on Facebook Live and you can see it there. But I don't, us who are here, we probably don't really care. We're I don't here. mind. <laughs> you were mentioning, uh, Nina, that you were interested in, what was it about uh, Facebook, that you wanted to stream something into Facebook? Was it using the messenger? It, no. Um, when I opened up a group that I have in Facebook, I mm -hmm. saw an announcement there from Facebook that there are now, I think they called them meeting rooms, mm -hmm. available. You can create a meeting room for your mm -hmm. group. Uh, mm -hmm. but, I, but I can't figure out, what wasn't immediately obvious to me was, is it a time-limited meeting? Or once you create it, it's one of those places. Do you remember that there used to be where you could find people any time of the day or night, kind of like Second Life, um, where if you go there, somebody else might also be there. I didn't know if it was that kind of permanent room once you create it it's always there or if it was more like a scheduled meeting but it, there didn't seem to be a way to schedule it ahead only to do it right now so that I I didn't investigate but we could go to the webhead um, part of I mean the, the webheads group you, try it. Do you want me yeah. to stream this into the Webheads group? No, I wasn't oh. saying that. I was saying that we could all go to Facebook, Le leaving the Zoom meeting on, although maybe, Chris, did you say that you can't have two of these things on at the same time? Probably not, because of sharing um, mics and uh, video cameras, it won't let you do that twice. That makes yeah. Why Do you don't know anything about these Facebook things? Why don't I stream this into the Facebook uh, group? I'll stream it into Facebook group, and would that help you have a look yeah. and see what goes on? You can go ahead and carry on your discussion, and I can just do that in the background. But I'm interested in knowing how it works as well. So uh, I was easily able to stream to my timeline. I, obviously, I did a a, uh, an experiment beforehand, and uh, it's quite easy to stream into um, YouTube, but you don't want to let Zoom take over your uh, your YouTube settings. You have to do that uh, through well, another way. I'll explain later. Mm -hmm. um, hang on. So now, when I open up Facebook in my for my group, it says it doesn't talk about. There's not really an advertisement. Now the advertisement is support your community during the coronavirus outbreak. But above where you have the option to write post, um, there's now the option to create room. And if I click on that option, see what happens. Um, there's a box and I'm supposed to write room activity. I'm going to write test and then choose an emoji and there's a bunch of emojis. So I'll choose something and then I know. <laughs> Am I going to be able to get rid of this later? We're telling. <laughs> While we're talking, I'm setting up uh, details for uh, streaming what we're doing now into Webheads, uh, the Webheads group. Oh, I'm missing what uh, Nina okay, is so saying. Yeah. I'm, I'm continuing here. So I renamed it chat. And now I get a link to, sh to invite the members of my group. And there's a question, who is invited? But it's answered for me. And group members is the answer. 
And the start time is now, but if I push on the hour, um, looks like I may have some options. Yes, I can change the start date. I'm gonna change, I'm gonna keep that. And the start time, it looks like I can change the start time, or maybe not. Yes. Meanwhile, I've streamed into Webheads, uh, Webheads in Action Facebook group. If you want to see that, it's just happening over there. And uh, Heike is wondering, how can we see the closed caption from Chris? And Nina, go ahead and work in the background. And, and, and which Facebook group are you streaming to, Vance? Because it's uh, not Webheads. on Charlie. Yeah, Webheads. Webheads. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, and I think it's a public group. So let's see. Let me put a link to that in the text chat. So I think people can go there, no matter if they're members of Webheads or not. Let me just, uh, here we go. It's this place. Okay, let me just jump in here. Um, so I created the room for 12 o'clock noon Today? Eastern time. Today? Today. 12 o'clock yeah. noon Eastern time. And I'll see if I can persuade anybody in my little group to come because a lot of them are uh, dubious. They're suspicious of Messenger, which I thought was uh, well, doing this. Mm. But anyway, my, my next pop-up says, learn how rooms work. Room visibility. When you create a room, Facebook shows the room to your group members. You can control who sees your room by choosing who it is visible to. And room locking, you can always lock your room if you don't want new people to join. So you you want to share your screen with us, Nina? Um, if you permit me, I will. Okay. I tried, but and it, it's, it's, uh, Lance, just a notification. The commentary is disabled on Facebook. The commentary, oh, yeah. okay. On the web heads, I've found your page on the web uh -huh. heads, okay. but the commentary is not enabled. So I wonder how I do that. Uh, let's see, web heads. How do I enable commentary? Is something I want to do right now? Or it could be, uh, but I don't know how to do that. That's the. My, let's see how. I don't see. Turn off. Turn off. Edit post. Turn off. Turn off commenting. It's uh, commenting should be enabled because it's giving me an op option to turn it off. So I turn it off. I turn it off, and then it gives me an option to say turn on commenting. Now I've done that. Uh, is it? Does that help anything? Are we still connected? <laughs> okay. So, uh, oh gosh, I love this. This is Webheads again. Yes, I love it. Just everybody <laughs> doing different things, second life, archaeologists, <laughs> anthropologists. My son is an anthropologist, by the way. He, he's very sensitive to people calling him an archaeologist. Um, cr uh, closed caption. Uh, not sure where we got to from there. Graham looks like he's uh, very dubious about the whole proceedings. I'm sure we'll, we'll wake him up. I was here. just, I was just wondering why Chris is calling Heike Heineken. Ah, oh, it's probably <laughs> uh, because it's on his cell phone, probably and of course it's auto correcting. <laughs> yes, of course. Correct. I'm sorry, Heike. <laughs> so, <laughs> no worries. To follow, to follow that trend, we could all all call each other a, a name of a beer, if you like. Yeah. <laughs> I'm also Doris, and, and people keep on calling I mean, my, stu my German students call me Dolores, you know? Ah, <laughs> so yeah. it's like, okay, I'm not Dolores and Doris. <laughs> and Chris just called me Dolores too. That's why it reminds me of my, <laughs> my uh, students. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well. So okay. no commentary okay, so on Facebook. We'll have to yeah, look into that later. No commentary is still on Facebook. We'll, we'll have to, I don't know, unless you have a suggestion. Uh, I would be happy to try and fix it, but uh, I really don't know what to do, but I can look that up in my spare time and see what I can do about it. But at the moment, I don't know if, I, if it's worth fixing, but certainly something for next time.
or if you want me to address it, to try and address it now, I don't know. I'm looking in the different Facebook pages I've got open. I don't really see how to do it. I'd have to go and Google it, you know, so. Um, so you just make your commentaries here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is all going in the, uh, in the, the blog post that will come from this. I think the advantage of streaming a Zoom session to Facebook is that you might get this this zoom this zoom session i suppose is that you might get people who weren't aware of it coming along so you might attract more people into the zoom room is that right well you know i experimented with this earlier just posting the the uh stream to my timeline and i got all kinds of responses and people started watch parties and it was uh overwhelming in a way i but uh and and yeah, I don't know. I think the, the Webhead's room is not really widely, I, mean, I don't know, I can't remember how many people are members there, but it's uh, it's probably not the kind of thing that's going to attract a lot of people back over here to the Zoom room. Um, this is very weird. I went to the Webhead page and I'm watching us in lag time. That's right, Twenty, at least 20 second lag, maybe 25 seconds. Longer than that because when I started, I waved and mm -hmm. okay, so I'm gonna wave I saw now. You, I saw okay, yes. Let's see how long it takes to show up on the screen there. You have to count <laughs> one, two, one three. Time. Mm -hmm. You can count to yourself, but that's what I did. When I just, but it is a very it long is. time, that's true. Yeah, you found it. Yeah, okay, so that was about 20 seconds. Could have to do with bandwidth. But that's true. Yeah, there's that's a, there's a, a lag. That, so that's um, something that you could do when you're washing your hands. Time it. Yes, you could. You could uh, start a Zoom session and you could start washing your hands. And then when you see yourself <laughs> washing your hands on Facebook, then it's time to stop. The, the comments <laughs> on Facebook seem to be switched on now because uh, we have a suggestion for Doris as a beer. Oh, okay. Well, it could be. I mean, maybe there's a lag there too, because when Heike said they were off, I, I went to the page and I saw that they were, there was a prompt to switch them off. So I switched them off and then I switched them back on again. So who knows? I don't know. Heineken, is it still working, not working for you or what? Well, it seemed that I was not part of the group. I've just applied for membership. Maybe oh, it's that okay. one. <laughs> uh. Okay, uh, maybe that's it. it could be that it's it's only for Webhead's members. Okay, let me pop over there and see if I can. Uh... No, you don't have to. Honestly, <laughs> it's it's okay to. I was just wondering, and Chris, I asked him to do the closed capture here. You know, fans, next time you open this room, enable that closed capture. I would like to try it out because uh, it's said to be that um, you can assign or what just one member can volunteer to do closed captures live in a session. And mm -hmm. uh, you yourself could do it, um, for an, or you can ask somebody else to do it. And so people can spontaneously type in the closed caption prompts thingy, um, and it would be seen by everyone in the room. Okay, can you... Uh, Is can it you here, Facebook Live? Where are you? Because I haven't got any uh, Go to the Webheads page, the Webheads page. The Webheads oh, I can use the link, yeah. yeah. Uh, yes, please. Okay, Heike, where where do you start? I didn't know. Caption. Yes. Yeah, but it's in the setting. You have to basically close the room afterwards. Which setting? You mean in, in the Zoom, Zoom setting? In the Zoom, Zoom setting. Okay. Yeah. All right. I think I know where that is, and I'll I'll set that next time. Okay. And we'll experiment next time. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I also have a, a closed caption system that I've I've used in the past, um, also for events and Second Life. Um, it's because there's one person that I know in Second Life who, who's deaf, yeah? And because of her, we always have to text chat in the groups and everything, yeah? Mm -hmm. And every so often she shows up to events and mm -hmm. notices that nobody's typing the, 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 and it's voice, and then she disappears again, really disappointed she can't be part of it. So uh -huh. we tried out this Microsoft Translate. Uh-huh. Microsoft Translate um, is an app that works like in a conference. You know, mm -hmm. you can 
you can start uh, the app and you hold the microphone in your hand and then you you start speaking and it would transcribe what you're saying mm -hmm. and then people can go to a website they don't have to have the app but they mm -hmm. can go to a website that's uh -huh. called translate.it uh -huh. cool. and then a code um, and with this code they can watch this transcription which is running live um, in their own language in mm -hmm. hundred languages yeah so I've used that in the past, but sometimes it, it has a knack, it doesn't work. Sometimes mm. it works like a charm. I'm not sure when to actually convince it to do mm. that. Like now I've enabled the app, yeah, and I'm, I'm sitting here with the microphone open mm -hmm. and it doesn't want to do anything. It doesn't even want to just <laughs> describe one <laughs> sentence. And this is Microsoft, you know, it works That's sometimes. A, as soon as you time. present, it stops working. Yeah, I know. This is problem exactly <laughs> it was, <laughs> but it, otherwise it works quite well but another time i can demonstrate it <laughs> chris is off to lunch sandeep was going to talk to us earlier i'm not sure what happened with sandeep sandeep you want to unmute and uh did you have some comments to make you're welcome there he is okay hello hello hi Hi. Yeah, hi everybody. <laughs> yes. Yeah, actually, I've been following the discussion. So it's very friendly environment here. Hi. Hi, Sandeep. So How are you? I'm enjoying the talk. And, uh, hi, yeah, I'm well. Hello. Are you getting my voice? Yeah, a lot of noise, actually. Uh, Hello. Graham, ah, the, 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 no the noise has attracted Graham's cat. Hi, kitty. <laughs> Oh, One of Graham's Jones cats. cats here. Okay. Oh no, there's more kitties. Oh, kitty. oh yes. I don't this know. Is kitties will notice each other. Whatever those noises Jonas are. Mark. Hello. John, mira. Look, mira, John, mira. Mira. Oh, I miss, Ay, otro I, gato. I miss my cat. <laughs> okay. You cat really lovers are really interrupting Sandeep. In Malaysia. <laughs> hi, hi. Hi, everybody. Hello, Sandy. Sorry. Is that interesting? <laughs> there was yeah. a, um, Hello, a cat I zoom. Thought... Yeah, we can hear you, Sandy. Yeah, cat zoom. <laughs> I'm having yeah. a little trouble was, uh, understanding, understanding Sandy. Okay, let Sandeep talk and maybe we can understand what he's saying. Yeah. Yeah, just, uh, I was following, uh, since the beginning, I've been following the this discussion. And it's very interesting to listen, Doris, about her project. And uh, it's very interesting to see you, everybody, exploring the different uh, platforms. So it's interesting. I, am, I have been listening to all these things. OK. So do you think you can jump in the project? You wrote that you that will be interesting yeah, for you? Absolutely. But you did not take the name of India, actually. <laughs> so I was afraid to talk about. Oh, I, I sent you a private message. It says, so, thanks so much. Maybe if you're a student, research a site and create an episode, we could get together. <laughs> no problem. Sure, sure. It would be very happy thing then for me because I'm interested in such things. I'm ed actually an educator here in India, in Maharashtra. The place where I live, it's a historical place. Uh, it's a Aurangabad. Have you heard about Aurangabad in Maharashtra? Can you put that in the chat, Sandeep? Sure, yes, sure. write down the name. <laughs> yeah. So it's a, it's a place with uh, full of so many archaeological sites. So everybody knows Taj Mahal of India. The everybody knows that. Statue. Yeah. So in uh, my city, we have replica of the Taj Mahal. So when you were explaining about your project and uh, you were talking about the Argentinian students and German students which you have and the episodes which you are doing, so it actually indulged some kind of interest in me also that someday if you feel that uh, definitely send me personally the link and information about your project, I would also contribute the Indian episode also into that series. Okay, um, how can I contact you? Are you on Facebook? Um, yeah, yeah, I'm on Facebook in chat box. I'm going to uh, actually after my talk uh, relax, with relaxly, I will 
uh, just in, insert all my information so you can contact me and okay. i will give you my email my email is doris 3m i'm going to write down my email on in the chat so you can you can send me something or we can get together right sure sure yeah <laughs> oh yes man thank you for allowing me to have with you all. It will be really interesting, you know. You know, you, I love uh, starting things, and you don't know where <laughs> where are we going, but I I, I just go away and we'll see. <laughs> and you know, and the more, uh, as Nina says, the merrier. You know, I, I love uh, doing uh, things like this with my students. It's, this is how uh, that's the way to live now because there's nothing that is certain anymore. And I was talking to my students and they're really worried about the future and, and German that they are so, you know, <laughs> so it's like I, I am teaching a, a, a manager. He was a manager and for him it's like, <gasps> you know, what, are, what is going to happen? We cannot plan. And I said, well, you know, we had been reading uh, The Economist the magazine uh, about business and everything is so awful. You know, we read one article and it was like, all the words in the article were terrible. They were all negative words. It was like, and that's the reality. And that's the, that was the latest uh, issue of uh, the Economist. So, so uh, uh, I say, well, the world has changed and we're all earthlings now. Right, no place to escape to. COVID situation, this okay, I didn't catch that. Oh. Oops, it disappeared. Yeah, it got frozen, I think. Yeah. Okay. Sandeep, okay. you're muted. The mic, your mic, Sandy. Sandeep. Mm -hmm. I'm unmuting oh, him. Yeah, yeah. So, actually, in this unprecedented situation, Everybody was looking for exploration. Everybody was thinking to go online and they were looking for the people like you who can cater to their needs. As you told that doctors, engineers, everybody have actually has come online and uh, they're looking for the opportunities to learn. So uh, it's very different kind of situation now and you need to deal with the different uh, nationalities. Mike, your mic. Your mic. are there, their rates are there. So you need to take that all into consideration, catering to their needs. Sandeep, where are you in India? Maharashtra. Thanks to Maharashtra. <laughs> okay, you must be aware about Bombay, Mumbai. Mm -hmm. On the yeah. west coast. So, uh, just, yeah. So from that uh, Bombay, my city is uh, near about uh, 400 kilometers, we can say. I'm going to find it on Google Maps. Sandeep, can we just ask uh, what the situation is in Calcutta and Bangladesh due to the cyclone? Sorry? Can we ask you what the situation is in uh, um, Bangladesh and in Calcutta because of the cyclone? Yeah, situation it's here actually the country has been divided into different zones. Government has taken some steps to tackle the situation and uh, the geographical boundaries have been locked and the areas where the situation is escalating, going out of control that areas have been sealed by the government and the government has divided the country into three zones like red zone orange zone and green zone depending on the covid cases found in that area there are some districts uh, or we can say provinces in our country where there is no such situation or we can say there is no such patients are found. So in that area, green zone is there. And very soon, government is thinking to lift the, uh, this uh, lockdown situation. But the areas where 
so many patients are found and day by day the cases are increasing the toll of this uh, covid patients it's increasing so in that area it is called as the red zone and uh, actually this lockdown situation will be extended for such uh, areas so somewhere you know mixed feelings are there people somewhere they are anxious about the situation uh, government is trying their level best and people are also trying to cooperate so what happens next actually it's very difficult to say but uh, everybody is responding positively to the lockdown so i hope um, that actually um, we are you, you answered nicely so you answered nicely the question about the threat of covid um i was just wondering about the uh, uh, the cyclone that just hit calcutta and bangladesh that big storm you know with lots of rain and everything because we get very little news in the news in germany for some reason uh, how how are you faring there he, he's on the other side of the country would he know i mean maybe his news uh, yeah absolutely right mm -hmm. one more threat is there that's of yes yes so there is one more threat actually uh, if you could permit me to uh, turn off the video then it would be better Mm -hmm, sure. Uh, actually, yeah. There is one more threat about the cyclone. Have you discussed? Yeah, absolutely right. That cyclone is a kind of threat now, and uh, government has given some kind of package also to the people. People are actually so much uh, under the uh, we can say the difficult uh, circumstances have been created by the cyclone, and it's a natural disaster. So that's why uh, we need to face that. So there is no other alternative. so people are evacuated from that area where it is uh, very greatly hit and uh, government has actually issued some kind of measures which should be uh, followed by the people of that area and they are taken to the safe zones so yeah that cyclone is also a big threat now for india one disaster after another Yes. It feels like the planet is trying. Yes, right now in in Argentina there are there are the the cases are increasing and um also in Venezuela is also uh it is increasing a little bit faster than before. So um but here in Jujuy where i am we haven't have any any cases because they locked three provinces so nobody comes in or goes out and that helped a lot so to today uh, today is Jujuy for the jujeños okay they they are promoting tourist uh, tourism and and in la puna and and it's a very very beautiful place and uh, so this but people from Jujuy are the ones that are allowed to go visit okay and to go to those places you need to have a, a reservation in some some place so it's not for everybody but they are starting to open uh, you know lower the restrictions here since since god uh, we haven't had any any cases in here in Jujuy in 45 days now wow like penang penang is also not i think since april 26 or something like that was the last death and then i i'm not even sure the new new cases are not so prevalent but uh, penang is an island and there's a bridge preventing people from the mainland from getting here and there are police on the bridge uh but anyway so uh bobby just came to tell me that she's got <laughs> dinner ready <laughs> okay <laughs> Yes, my husband also say breakfast, breakfast. Ah, where is my breakfast? And Bobby says, my "Where is my husband asleep?" <laughs> That's a good it's one. Sandy, nice meeting you, and it's it was lovely to see you all, guys. Love mm -hmm. you very much. Yeah. You are really, nice. really. Sandy, uh, come back next Sunday. And, okay. and I'm happy to talk to you, Doris. About, yes, uh, we had to get together and 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 see yeah. what we can do. <laughs> and uh, I just pasted a comment from Facebook from Sibel by Tua Seja who lives in Turkey and she says that's the same there um same she was referring to Sandeep's uh, explanation about 
the green, orange, and red zones. Everyone is going online in this in that way, in their own way. And as I said, this is this was coming from Facebook. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'll see you guys next week. Hi everyone. Okay. Don't have to see if you're about to eat. I, yes. I looked it up. This is uh, Learning Together episode 466. I never can remember which one it is. There's so many of them. Well, I know. <laughs> I know. Anyway. Okay. Well, thank you very much for coming along. Really appreciate everyone being here. And um, so we'll see you this time next week. And <laughs> let's see what's next. Next is Susan Morandi from uh, oh. Iran who is going to talk to us on Wednesday, the 27th. And uh, I think it's at, at noon this time, noon, uh, noon UTC, which is the time we just met. And uh, she's got some PhD students. She wants, she's, she's teaching them uh, Cal and uh, she wants them to meet uh, the wider world. So uh, there's information in that, uh, on that in the Talon pages and everywhere that you, you would go to find those that information. And <laughs> greetings from Jane Chen from the Facebook comments. Uh -huh. Oh, good. I haven't looked, Jane, I've been looking at that, but... Uh, Jane uh, Chen is the Minecraft uh, pal of Vance, and she's on Facebook too. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. All right. Anybody need Bye, to get text chat or anything like that? Although I put the text chats Bye -bye. in all the... Yeah. Bye, Graham. Thanks for coming. Appreciate it. And uh, nice to see you again, Doris. And Heike is here twice, and Sandeep is still here. And Sandeep, I muted you because of noise from uh, from wherever you were, but I've just unmuted and now. Sandeep, um, Sandeep, you want to improve your audio quality a little bit. <laughs> it's just us now. But you can stop the live stream on Facebook, perhaps? I suppose, at your request. Live stream on Facebook is ending now, and there it goes. Stop live stream. Was, it's done. Just, what about the recording here? Shall I stop this uh, recording? As well? <laughs> no, but Sandy has um, has um, a lot of background noises for he a does. start. He does, which affects his voice, and yes. his voice is also not very clear. So perhaps yeah. if you could use a mic, a headset would be great. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm going to stop the recording here, and thank you yeah, very much. Heike he is. <laughs> Uh, she's the, uh, the the sound stickler here, but I mean, in a, in a, I mean that in a positive way. In a positive way, she's very she's very good about mentoring everybody here. So we really appreciate. It. Okay, bye everybody.